Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about semaphores. So, what do you mean by semaphore? It is one of the technique that we are using in process synchronization problem. Uh, so, in all these problems, so we will be getting the co issue called uh, race condition, which means the process cannot be synchronized at all. So, if it is actually performing any uh, particular task on the common data, if both the process is performing uh, or accessing any common data, or both the process are independent, dependent uh, with each other, in that case, it may get the uh, it may get the problem of uh, synchronization process synchronization so in order to avoid it we are actually using this technique called semaphore so here this semaphore is nothing but it is an integer variable okay and uh, this variable will uh, either be incremented or it could be decremented by the set of operations that called uh, sleep and wake up and uh, by with the help of this variable once uh, we can avoid the race condition of even for any two process that accessing the common data so let us see what are what uh, what are all the operations we have um, specifically for the semaphore so it is an integer variable and it consists of two operation one is down and up so we can um, literally equivalent these two operations for um, to sleep and also for wake up okay so we have already discussed what is sleep and wake up so once the process uh, wants to wait for another process to execute we are not implementing the concept of busy waiting so as we all know it is the traditional method we have used but uh, in because of that busy waiting so we are just wasting a lot of cpu cycles so in order to avoid it so in case of multiprocessor so it will become a major problem because it will degrade the cpu performance if it, um, so we will not give we will not utilize the cpu very well so there will not be the efficient uh, usage of CPU in the multiprocessor system. So we are actually going with the concept of blocking. So once the process wants to wait for any other process, so it should be blocked for some time. With the help of sleep operation, so we can block any process. And with the help of the wake up, process, wake up operation, we can resume any of the pr process. So here we have used two operations. So one is down operation and another one is up operation. So down operation which is used to um, decrement the value. So I will tell you how these two operations will work. So here we have the semaphore variable. So let it be A, the name of the semaphore variable. So it can be, a, it could be the user defined variable. Any name can be given to the semaphore variable. So if it is a and if the value of a is nothing but a positive integer value so it could be either zero or any uh, positive integer value if it is zero means then we have to increment it in order to wake up that particular process so what is the meaning of that variable to zero zero means already some of the process has executed it and uh, it uh, if it wants to perform that sleep operation then it will make that value to zero make that semaphore va variable value to zero suppose if it is a positive integer so it is greater than zero means we need to decrement it and we have to continue our own set of operation okay so who will do it the down operation so down operation will check the semaphore variable value if it is greater than zero then it will perform the decrement operation on the semaphore variable and it will continue it and afterwards after some time again it will check now the a value if it is 1 means it is again greater than 0 so it will perform the decrement operation on the semaphore variable and again it will continue its uh, operation and this is what down operation so it will always decrement the value of semaphore variable once after checking the semaphore variable if it is not equal to 0 if it is greater than 0 means it will perform the decrement operation and then if a value is 0 so what does it mean semaphore variable if it is value is 0 means then down operation it will not decrement it it, it will make the particular process to sleep it will make the particular process to sleep because it has to wait until the other process to complete its execution so it will make this particular process to sleep and what about this up operation so up operation means whenever it checks the a value to 0 means it will perform the increment operation 
okay so it will perform the uh, increment operation down it will perform decrement operation so whenever the process um, i mean a equal to 0 means that particular process is in sleep mode so we have to wake up the process with the help of this up operation so we need to increment it and it is just trying to wake up that particular process whichever it is using this m4 variable that particular process will be wake up so this is what the operation which we are performing under semaphore that is down and up okay so after some days so it is actually this concept actually um, invented or uh, uh, in the in year 1965 by the person named Dijkstra's so after some days he actually renamed this operation as P and V down P operation and up is V operation so like this they have renamed these two set of operation as P and V so this P and V are said to be the two operation that can be performed on semaphore variable so semaphore is nothing but it is the integer variable and that variable value has been either incremented or decremented based on the operation whatever we are performing either it is a P operation or V operation so p operation means it is nothing but down operation so it will do the decrementation on semaphore variable v operation is nothing but sleep uh, i mean up operation which is used to, to perform the incrementation on semaphore variable and why we are performing these two operation in order to make any of the process to sleep or otherwise uh, we are making any of the process to wake up so um, we can implement the semaphore concept in producer consumer problem not only in producer consumer problem we can also perform for any other process synchronization problem so we will discuss it later thank you